Yeah, like what's this one? That's the warranty one. That's the warranty one. bag that has a little leak in it. Or do we patch the leak and then we still gotta repair it? Look at them all. Hi, I'm Flip Flop, and this is Caveman. In the last three years, we have backpacked over 5,000 miles together while walking through 17 different states and across the country twice, all while sharing this little two-person tent. Between the AT and PCT, that's over an entire year spent in the woods together with so many stories to share. So be sure to follow us as we're new to this whole YouTube thing and you know what to do. <laughs> now, on to today's video. Flip flop from the future here to tell you that this week's video has some bad audio quality in parts and some of it is filmed in portrait mode on accident. So I'm learning. <laughs> This week I put together a series of clips kind of in a vlog slash pack with me format um, to kind of share with you what I did in preparation for a backpacking trip that we did. First on the list is swapping out my used and worn out Darn Tough socks. And if you didn't know, Darn Tough does have a lifetime warranty. If you wear out any part of their socks, as long as you don't burn them or have the dog chew them, um, you can get your socks replaced and that's what I'm going to be talking about in this next clip. Where I live, there are a few outfitters that sell darn tough socks, but a lot of them are like, no, you just send them back to the company. And that's great and all, but it's really nice when you can just go into the outfitter of your choosing and swap out your socks and get socks the same day. So I called this local place. I explained that I have a trip coming up and I was hoping to exchange them and they said they'd help me out. So today we go swap out the socks. <laughs> What's funny is they said, yeah, it's no big deal. If you just have one pair of socks, we'll, we'll help you out. And I had to admit that I don't have just one pair or two pairs. I have three pairs of darn tough socks I need to have swapped. So yeah, <laughs> they got a through hiker on their hands. So excited for that. I'll keep you posted. So partial success. I went in there and I looked at all their socks. And of course, in order to exchange them, they have to have the pair and the size that you want that matches what you're swapping out. So they did have the version of the long crew that I wear, um, but they did not have shorter style. These are where they're all worn out. So I couldn't swap out my shorter ones. Those I'll have to do at a later time. Um, but I did get my brand new fresh pair of long socks, which is super awesome. The lady there was very nice. Um, she said that they had someone that hiked the PCT this year, but had to go home because of the fire closures. And it was just really nice to actually talk to somebody that understood what I was trying to do. And the fact that on trail and in trail towns, it's very common to, to do sock exchanges. Um, but you come back out here into the real world and these other cities, and a lot of people don't know about long distance backpacking. So... Very nice, very appreciative of them working with Darn Tough to actually, uh, you know, let me swap out socks. So great brand of socks, great wool um, outer layer. If you haven't watched our videos on socks, I'll link it up here. Um, highly recommend you check it out. We're also affiliates with Darn Tough. So if you purchase the socks through the links in the description, we actually get a slight commission back, which helps support our trips. So thank you so much. On to the next place. Oh. And I picked up two cans of fuel because our friends that are going to be coming uh, will definitely will need some fuel and you can't fly with this stuff. So this is something you always have to pick up before your trip. And we currently don't have any fuel cans. So that I know of probably should have looked first, but yeah, got two cans of fuel. All right. I also wanted to take a moment and tell you that I do plan to make a video talking about Pitchard Rocks National Lakeshore where we will be going with our friends. Um, but I am waiting to hike first so that I can incorporate videos and footage from 
our hike into the video so it's a little bit more entertaining. I know a lot of people have been wondering, well, where are you going and what does it look like and all that. So stay tuned. I will be making a video about how to plan it, what it's all about, so that uh, future hikers can use that and also plan to go. So it's a beautiful spot. I don't know if you'll be able to use that video and plan a hike this fall necessarily because it is kind of about end of season. However, whoa, uh, it could be beneficial for you uh, if you're going to hike next year, spring or fall. So planning on putting that together. So stay tuned. The next thing that we are going to be picking up is cat litter. Some of you I'm sure have noticed in our videos, we do have a little cat. And when we go hiking, someone has to watch the cat. So in combination with the socks I had to get, I also have to pick up some cat litter and make sure that all of her stuff is good to go so that uh, she has all the supplies she needs while we are away. <laughs> Our third and final stop for the day is the post office to check our P.O. box. And I must admit that I do have a guilty pleasure about checking the mailbox. So if you want to be my pen pal, I'll leave the uh, P.O. box information down below. That's right, folks. Injinji just came out with new colored liners. This color here is called Flame, but they also have a new black color granola, and snapper green. Check out the description box below to get yourself a pair, but keep in mind these are selling out fast. All right, so let me give you a little tour of what we did today. We kind of organized quite a bit of things into a couple categories and in preparation to get us ready for our trip. Look at them all.